Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, what a day, happy Thursday out there, thirsty Thursday, that's right, one more day until the weekend, folks, we're almost to the end of the week, and that would be Friday, which is tomorrow, but today, nonetheless, is actually National Peanut Butter Day, that's right, folks, whether it's creamy, chunky, or you put it together with chocolate or jelly, peanut butter has been American staple for generations, that's right, did you know the Aztecs first uh, served peanut butter, it was like a paste, but the man who brought us the peanut butter we know and love today, his name is Joseph Rosefield. That's right, back in 1922, through homogenization, Rosefield was able to keep peanut oil from separating from peanut solids. That's right. He later sold the patent to a company that began making Peter Pan peanut butter. He went into business for himself earlier on, selling Skippy peanut butter through Rosefield packing. Wow, that's pretty cool. He also supplied peanut butter for military rations during World War II. Pretty impressive stuff. Anyways, there you go. Happy peanut butter day. All right, folks, going to get a little serious now. I'm not one to shy away from any type of controversy or I'm willing to give any opinions of my topics and so forth. But, you know, things that affect the U.S. and citizens, you know, it gets hotter and hotter each day not to talk about certain things that are going on in this country. And what I'm talking about right now, of course, is the government shutdown. You know, it's officially called a partial government shutdown. But nonetheless, it tops every news coverage on every channel every day. And we are now on day 34 of this partial shutdown where over 800,000 government workers are entering their second pay period and as of tomorrow will not receive their paychecks again. I cannot fathom what these people and their families must be going through. I mean, their lives have been put on hold and thrust into desperate times because of a shutdown. Now, whether it's Republicans or Democrats, the government shutdown is part of a monopoly in which President Trump wants $5 billion to build a wall. Now, this wall has been a staple of his campaign, is obviously the number one item on his agenda, and experts say that the wall is imperative to stopping thousands of illegal immigrants from unlawfully entering the United States daily. But turning on the news every day, that's not what we hear coming across the TV sets. No, it's not, folks. We hear our elected officials squawking back and forth, just about doing everything they can to not getting to talking. So what's going to happen next? So far, we have TSA employees working, not getting paid which quite frankly scares the hell out of me. They're the ones on the front lines at our airports. You know, they screen and check every passenger for contraband and so forth. And that with an average of a call-out rate of 10%, you know, it's only going to grow. I do not even want to mention if you get a disgruntled TSA worker who feels like he doesn't give a crap one day because he's not getting paid, what happens then? That'll make headlines, I'm sure. And now that we are in tax season, well, it's come to everyone's attention that tax refunds will most likely be delayed for an extended period of time, thus affecting people who don't even work for the government. So what does all, all this mean in the long run? Well, it's going to get worse before it gets better, folks. The partial shutdown will most likely turn into a full shutdown, thus throwing our economy and infrastructure into a tailspin. And most experts agree that it might turn into a recession, not something any American wants. Now, with this afternoon's pairing of bills shot down by the Senate, we are still at a stalemate. And get this, folks, they take tomorrow on the weekend off and we still had a shutdown. This is crazy. I believe the only way to get all parties talking again is to reopen the government, put all the other items on hold, get everybody in their chambers, all the elected officials, and hammer out a deal for the funding of this wall. I'm going to tell you why. Let's think about it. Is there anything worse than building a wall for national security? I mean, don't get me wrong. There is so much more money to spend, way, way much more money to spend. You know, the homeless, vets, the poor, the hungry, drug addiction. I get it, folks. Just about every other avenue you can think of but in the grand scheme of things how about putting our nation and its people in, in, in front oh foremost you know what i'm saying yes i agree five billion dollars is a lot of money to be allocated it's a lot of money in every any regard but allocating these funds for the sake of national security is a hell of a lot better than procuring five billion dollars for something the american people will never see nor use and i'm being honest when i say that it's truly unfortunate that the government employees are being used as pawns for this initiative that in itself is wrong the fact that our lawmakers are going to work every day still getting paid not working on a deal is in fact wrong every waking deal every waking hour that the government shut down makes us look like a disgrace in the eyes of uh, around the world I'm, that's how it is that is wrong my biggest fear is that when and if this ever ends the damage will be that of catastrophic and unreversible damage which in turns makes this all wrong I'm not a political person. I'm more of a common sense kind of guy. But I can only wish for the American people to remember this moment when it comes time to vote again. Vote common sense. If the biggest upheaval in American politics is being outright ignored, isn't it time to put people in office who can rise to the occasion and not ignore it? If we're to make America great again, then we need to have people who are willing to make it great again. And that starts at the voting booth. And I'm being serious when I say that, folks. You know, I just got through watching the Senate uh, vote again. They shot it down. They shot another bill down. Now they're actually going to be going home for the weekend, and that ends everything. Government workers still have to go to work and not get paid. It's unfair, folks. We need to end this stalemate. We need to end it soon. 
All right, that's my rant for today. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoys their Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to visit my fan page, facebook.com or youtube.com slash Joe Lowry. What a day. I'll, uh, I'll take all your comments and suggestions and all that good stuff, but I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Thursday. Everybody have a great day. I'm Joe Lowry. What a day.